Hi folks, Jeff Sykes Tech here, continuing my tutorial series on authoring DVDs in Adobe Encore. This is part two, talking about uh, making menus. I've got my assets all prepared. I've got uh, all my timelines. I've got uh, a couple of playlists. And I've got a slideshow. All these assets are ready to go. What I want to do now is create some menus from which I'll make links to these various assets. So to do that, I go down to the library panel in the lower right hand corner. The library panel shows all kinds of templates and other items that come with Encore, but what I want to see here are just the menus. So I click on this little menus button that shows only the menus. And it shows only the menus within this subcategory called entertainment. There are several subcategories here. So we'll stick with entertainment for now. And I, what I want to look for here is a wide menu or an HD menu, because we're using HD footage here. So I'm going to go to the Studio menu HD, which looks like that. You get a little preview of it. And then there's a thing called the Sub menu. Every menu has a sub menu associated with it. The sub menu has video buttons instead of text buttons. And if you notice, this one's got a little folded down corner, the projector menu. A little folded down corner means that, that this background in that menu is actually a video. So when you see a folded down corner, that means that you've got a video background menu. But we're going to stick with a static background menu here. To add a menu, all you need to do is double click it. That adds a menu to the project. It appears inside this menu viewer. Now, not to be confused with the menus tab or the menus panel. The menus panel lists all the menus as you add them in a separate panel over here. Meanwhile, you've got the menus viewer here, which doesn't say view or anything. It just says the name of the menu right here at the top. It doesn't say, hello, you're in a viewer. So that's a menus viewer. I want to add two sub-menus now. So cause I'm going to have a scene selection menu and another menu that uh, acts up as a pl place where you can access individual videos. So I'm going to double click this once, and that adds the scene selection menu. It's called scene selection by default. And there it shows up here inside the project panel as sub-menu HD3. And if I double click this again, that'll add another version of it, HD4. Now it's, they're numbered like this because I've used these guys before and they've incrementally numbered them, but normally they'd be one and two and instead of three and four like this. So don't let, the, don't let that throw you off. So now I've got these three menus. First order of business is I want to rename them. So I'm going to click on this guy, the main menu. I want to be the main menu. Make it active, and it shows up over here in the Properties panel, the, the basic tab. I want to change it from the default name that it's given to Main Menu. Okay, and that change shows up over here in the Project panel. I'm going to do that for the other two. I'm going to call this one Scene Selection. And then finally, I'll call the other one Skaters. There we go. That's just for the purpose of this particular tutorial. So now I've got these three menus. I want to put them inside a folder to kind of organize things. So I make a new folder by clicking on the new item icon. We'll call them uh, menus. I'll take those three guys by selecting with the marquee selection and drag them into the menus folder. Now we got them all tucked away nice and neat. What I want to do now is add some music to these menus. You can have music playing in the background for these menus. And I've got this menu music audio here. And the way you add music to a menu is quite simple. Just drag it to the menu here in the menu viewer and it adds it to the menu. Nothing appeared to have happened, but if I were to click this menu, go over here and click on the scene selection menu, or the skaters menu, that's the one that's visible, and you go down to motion, it has the audio associated with it right there. I can go to the uh, scene selection menu, there it is. This one really is a scene selection menu. Right now there's no audio. I can take the pick whip and drag that over. It's another way to add music to it. Go to the main menu, double click it to open up, open it up in the uh, um, menus viewer. So to add audio to it, I just drag it to the menus. Now these three menus each have music associated with them. I can uh, demonstrate that by previewing this project. I can just right click on this menu here and say preview from here. There you go, and it previews in that window and plays the audio that you've added. So now I want to do a couple more things to uh, clean things up a bit. I want to change the text here to uh, make the text match uh, my particular slideshow. So I'm going to uh, click on the text button here, the text tool. If I hover over the title, you'll see that my cursor changes from this dotted thing or like that into something that's no longer have to, has a border around it. I can highlight that text. I'm going to call this one Main Menu. Now I want to go to the other menu, so I go to this drop-down list and go to Skaters. 
change it from scene selection to skaters. There we go. And finally go to the scene selection menu and change that to scene selection, right? So all I need to do is change this to just uppercase S and uppercase S. Oops. There you go. Done for that. Now a couple more things. If you look inside the the sub menus, there's a previous and a next button. There are previous and next buttons in all sub menus inside Encore. They're there by default because it's sort of assumed that you might have more than four scenes that you want people to go to. So you might have four scenes in one uh, sub menu and then four scenes in another and four scenes in another and you want to link those guys together. In this case though, I don't really want to link them together. So I want to get rid of these buttons. Well, I can't use the text tool to get rid of them. I need to use some other way to select them and get rid of them. There are two selection tools over here. One's called the selection tool, and one's called direct select tool. The direct select tool lets you select text. The selection tool lets you select buttons. So I click on that click on the button, it selects the entire button, press the delete key and that guy is gone. Click on this button, press the delete key and that guy is gone. And I'll do that for the other menu as well. Click on that, gone. Click on that, gone. So that's just a very basic overview of how you set up menus here inside Encore. I'll show you how to make links to all these buttons and wrap up your project in the third and the final tutorial uh, working with Encore.